Everyone owning a Z4 is completely aware of the fact that the audio system on that car is completely rubbish and the lack of an auxiliary input doesn't make the things better. What we're going to be doing today is installing an AUX input just to bring that old Z4 closer to the more modern BMWs. Uh, what we're going to begin with is removing the air vents. What you're going to need for that is screwdrivers, so flathead screwdrivers that need to go under here. There are two pins that you got to push with a trim removal tool you need to pull the air vents out. Okay, and just like that, you remove your air vents. You wipe with your fingers every dent that you've done and you pretend that they have disappeared. What you gotta do next is take off those two screws. So we're unscrewing those. And now it's pretty simple task of just pulling the radio out. Remove that. All right, let's unplug it. <clears throat> Good. Okay, and that is what the input of the radio looks like. You saw the inputs here, but what you gotta remember is that you're not gonna plug your cable straight into the radio. What you gotta do is take this plug here, the one that is coming out of the car. So there is one empty slot on the very right. And that is how it's gonna look now. Gently pull onto that trim that holds the ashtray and the heated seats control. And then you need to lift it up and pull towards you. So lift and pull, lift and pull. And now we can pull it out. And now we have an access to the cables here. That's how we're gonna trace our auxiliary cable. The cables are going from here. That is where we're gonna try and stick that cable to. Right, and just like that, we're gonna pull it out from here. Plug back everything in. So don't forget to put your antenna back. And just press like that until it clicks. You press onto that bottom part. You can so you can release the latch. Then you lift it, and then you should be able just to plug it in. You take the cables back in, so you can easily put the radio back. Okay, let's power the car on and see if we've done everything correctly. Okay, screen power is on. I don't think that's what we're looking for, no disc. Okay, and we've got auxiliary inputs. That's what we're looking for. Mission is successful, but it's not complete yet. Now what we gotta do is get the cable out from a more convenient place. Now what I'm gonna do, we've removed that trim. I showed you how to remove that trim. What we gotta do next, drill a hole here so we can get the cable out. That's why I don't do things with one hand. And here is where we're gonna put the auxiliary. It's gonna be something like this. More like this. So we're gonna be able to put only one of the screws. 
that they have provided us with, but that should be enough. What we're gonna do now is put back this piece of trim. There are some cables that are gonna be on the way. So you need to make sure you take them right here in the middle. Now what I've realized is it is getting the cable coming down from under this plastic bit, it makes it much easier to put back in the ashtray as if you have it over it, this pushes the ashtray out and yeah, the ashtray just sits out and is not very nice looking. When you lift the part closer to you up, you slot the part further away in, just like that, and then you push it. Now, make sure this cable is in. Then slow the ashtray in, simple as that. Let me show you why I love the advancements of technology. So this, see the size of that, is what the Bluetooth module of a BMW E85 is from 2003 to up to, up to 2008, I believe. And that is what is going to enable me to connect my phone via Bluetooth to the audio system of the car using the auxiliary input. And now let's see if it works. This one here, show you that. There is no connection, let's plug it in. Power on. Connected. And it connects straight away. So that's pretty quick. And now let's go to YouTube. Now first we need to select the correct mode. That's auxiliary. I'll go to YouTube and play some custom music for huh? And yeah, it works perfectly fine. So these are the part numbers for the auxiliary input. Here is the other number. I've ordered mine off of eBay and it came at around 60 pounds. So yeah, it's money well spent in my opinion.